Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stephanie Nadia if you're new here. We're about to talk deep, okay? I have the points on here. I have like nine points and we're going to talk about each of them one at a time. So without saying too much, let's get into the video. So the first topic I have on the list is what do you guys think about poly a polyamorous relationship? First of all, I don't want to be the dummy and then say something wrong. So I'm going to check what it means, okay? What does polyamorous relationship mean? So when they say polyamorous, it's characterized or involved in the practice of engaging in multiple romantic relationships with the consent of all people involved. This is kind of confusing me with open relationship. Is it the same thing? Please differentiate in the comment section below. Is polyamorous the same as open relationship? Because I know open relationship... Okay, maybe open relationship doesn't involve like romantic partners. It could be one night stand, but it's allowed in the relationship. So this one is kind of like having multiple romantic relationships with the consent of all the people involved. Ghanaian men, listen to this part. With the consent of what all the people involved. I'm looking at my face. Is you I'm talking to? I feel some ways somehow most people are involved in polyamorous relationships, except for the fact that they don't they part that they don't let the other partners know that okay this is a polyamorous relationship you know yourself yeah i feel we're a lot out there not we hey there are a lot out there <laughs> so if you are having a polyamorous relationship i mean obviously you'd be taking care of yourself medically too right because then would it be safe because does your partner get to yeah because both partners will get to do that what if their partners are doing that and their partners partners are doing child that's a lot of things entering your body so i feel if you're medically taking care of yourself a polyamorous relationship is your piece of cake is your cup of tea i feel why i'm saying most Ghanaian men are in polyamorous relationships without letting the other partners know is that they don't just want one night stands and most guys i know would not just cheat, cheat once with you if you're cheating just like more than once with that person isn't it like a romantic relationship is sex not a romantic relationship if i don't know someone please correct me because i might be wrong but then i feel a lot of people not just Ghanaian men maybe the women too but they would not just let the partners know that okay i beg there's other romantic partners as i think caramel said in their ted talk or their they are not their ted talk their talk on glitch their podcast apparently it's okay to have multiple partners for everything so if you have that and you want me to leave all of them unless you're not ready unless you're ready to do all those things for me leave me to follow men and pursue you at the same time <laughs> i mean i do stand with the fact that you shouldn't put all your eggs in one basket because human being will show you shaggy but it doesn't mean be involved with romantic partners a lot of romantic partners there's some truth to what she said though. i think i'm done with our one next let me drink water next table we're shaking is age gap relationships what do y'all think about age gap relationships relationship like sincerely i want to know what other people think about it me for instance i don't think there's anything wrong with it what someone your age mate will show you someone older will show you the same thing as in like i'm not saying they all show you i'm just saying what one would do the other person can do too so there shouldn't be any age cut on love because you could fall in love with someone younger than you could fall in love with someone older than you it's totally normal it's not a sin because i don't think there was anywhere in the bible where god said above this age don't fall in love or don't marry this person did it is there, is it somewhere in the, if it's in the bible please let me know but sincerely i don't know if god mentioned that is bad i don't know if our society is the one saying it's bad but i don't think there's anything wrong with it so far as I don't even want to say so far as it's not like 100 years older than you or something. Go off, babe. Go off. Do you? I mean, our society is in such a way that if you're doing something out of the normal and it's not something they're used to, it means it's wrong. You'll be shamed for it. Trust me. 
if unless it's a normal thing that is going around you'll be shamed for it uh i don't know if I, everybody has the same thoughts but i feel when plastic surgery started coming out fresh and it wasn't so everywhere if you do it people look down on you for it but now it's nice because there's a majority of people out there that have done it now like people don't look down so much on it which they shouldn't they shouldn't look down on it but then that's how society is if the thing is not popular you'll be shamed for it if the thing is not something that they are used to over the years you would be shamed for it so just know it have it in your head okay so if that's where you found your love do use it because those young boys will show you just as much pepe as the older men okay <laughs> maybe they'll even show you more right maybe they'll even show you more trust me because they feel i feel a lot of young men not maybe maybe if i feel okay that's my point i feel a lot of young men feel they have so much time ahead from ahead of them so why should they settle with one girl when they can enjoy their youth okay so we are all enjoying our youth right <laughs> Bollard. <laughs> the next one I have on here is about open relationships. So for open relationships, I don't have much to say about it. The most important thing I feel in all these things is if all partners know that this is what we're doing, right? Because I said earlier that I said earlier in one of my videos, I said in the, in the previous chit chat or the heartbreak video with my friends, I did say that if you are catching cruise with somebody, let them know that you are catching cruise with them. Because I've been, should I say I've been a tool in somebody's relationship before. If I say a tool, I don't know the best word to use. What I mean is like, if we're catching crews, if I say catching crews, I mean, if we're just nothing serious, we're just enjoying each other's company, doing things, let me know, right? Don't, don't gas me up and say, I like you. Like, don't love bomb me if you don't feel like that. Maybe we're, we're so advanced in this day and age that if I like you, you like me. No, if you want to just, we are all inside. Let's do so that you go your way. You go my way. <laughs> hey, Nadia. The parties involved know. Like, so if you have a serious girlfriend and your relationship is open, don't just go out there and be gaslighting and love bombing other girls to make them think you'd want them and then later they'll receive invitation letter from your wedding with your actual girlfriend it doesn't make you a good human being i feel we don't come at the girls enough like we're always at the boys but yeah all parties know that okay yeah just catching cruise with me you have a serious girlfriend fine if you catch feelings i told you we're catching cruise i mean it's not your fault that you caught feelings but <laughs> If you yeah, if you want to do bad bitch things, you will be hard, girl. Okay, so just I feel just let the parties know it will be hard. Cause in Ghana, if they know you have a girlfriend, <laughs> hey, it's all a girl now. <laughs> yeah, so that's basically was like I feel like you should let me know that I have a girlfriend. I've been on the other end and it wasn't nice. Like not the girlfriend, the other end. So let me know that we are catching cruise. It's not a serious relationship. I might say, yeah, sure, let's do this. I might say, no, get away from me. You never know my answer, but to be truthful. The next one I want us to talk about is long distance relationship. I feel long distance relationships is relative to everybody. I can't just tell you it's doable and then you try. No, it just depends on everybody. Someone's love language is physical touch and attention and those things how my house uh, how are such people supposed to survive in long distance relationships because phone calls and video calls are not the same so it might cost them to step out on you so if you want to venture into a love long distance relationship i bet you should try to know what the love language of your partner is some people you know if you know their love language by those two things. long distance relationship is a very tricky thing but it shouldn't be hard right because i know people that are doing it and are doing it so well yes so it, sh it shouldn't be hard if you've set your mind to it that this is the person i want i don't want to be sidetracked i mean if you have a lot of goals in life i don't think you'll be going around sleeping with people so i feel if you're in a relationship with someone for a while obviously if it didn't start off as a long distance relationship it started from a no distance relationship to a long distance so you should know your partner well to know if when me jump this person if i leave the person you pass behind my back so i will not do and just cut your losses 
and then just that there are some people too that you can expect the you can you would expect the best from them and do see human being will show you shaggy so long distance relationship is a risk is a gamble is a but i feel if you've got god on your side and like you're willing to do it do it you should be all right you sh- it shouldn't be so hard it shouldn't be that hard you should be good yeah that's what i think you try it so and it didn't go well for you is there is your partner a tiger you tell me i will not do again hey he's out he's there he cannot come and beat you <laughs> or you are there you cannot come and beat you the next thing i wanted us to talk about is interracial relationships what do you guys generally think about interracial relationship i feel some people look down on it i promise because i've had people on my tiktok like i've had tiktok channels that are like inter- interracial couple channels a hey, tiktoks that i'd go through their comments and people are like um maybe you're with him because you didn't get a black man to love you or you didn't get like it's always um you've not been fucked well by a black man that's why you ended up like it's always there's always something okay with the internet so i don't think there's anything wrong with it it's just about preference that's the same that's the way dating is that's what life is it's about choice about preference if that's what you want fine i'm not not open to dating a white person i'm not not open to dating an asian person i don't mind i don't i don't mind but there are some people that literally actually mind like they they will not do it like nah because of maybe personal beliefs or personal things because i have a friend that isn't too open to it because of a very good reason that she gave me that i cannot say on here because it's not something you can it's very it's not it's a sexual thing that i can't say on here that would be too much right dm me i'll tell you <laughs> that's how i end up having so many dms um so yeah i feel if, if you can do it fine if, um, i'm not against it at all but i know some people have valid reason for valid reasons for being against it like dating is all about your preference okay don't spit hate on someone's relationship because of your preference who do you think you are the power dynamics in relationships i don't know if i know we've all realized this but the fact that the concept of being a feminist and being a christian sometimes clash with some particular topics when they come up like let's say um if you're a wife and you have a husband and you people are both working a nine to five get up at the same time blah 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 as a feminist you'd say your husband should understand and sometimes wake up to do breakfast and sometimes you'd wake up to do breakfast but with a christian mentality i feel because you are the wife um you should wake up earlier than your husband because you'd want to serve him you want to make him feel good and make breakfast before he gets up being a feminine being a feminist is not wrong and being a christian is not wrong too but then these two kind of sometimes get me wondering a lot which side i'm actually on because there are some sides i'll be like he better know this he better know and then there are some sometimes i'll be like oh you have to do this because you're a wife because that's how i was raised i was raised in a christian home my mother is a very prayerful woman so in a way like there's always that clash but i think i would choose my christian side over my feminist sides in some situations it's not like you pick and choose when to be a feminist but there are some times where some beliefs are greater than others like it's not, i'm not about to let my husband starve because i'm a feminist i mean i'd also expect obviously i would end up marrying someone that is sensible and would know that okay my wife prepared breakfast and she's tired or she worked late last night so let me wake up and prefer don't marry a misogynistic masochistic there's this word every day i'm using it i cannot remember it but that word i'll write the meaning to don't marry somebody like that and expect you to wake up quick like when we are both like working a nine-to-five do you get me dating outside your religion i did say a little about it but i didn't go in depth on it in my last chit chat um would i do it because of how um much i take my christian life serious like how serious i take my christian life i don't think i would want to marry someone that would spiritually not support me or i don't know i don't know because i've dated a muslim guy before but then i never thought too much ahead 
but looking at the way i know that spiritually you sometimes you need the push right there are other times where you're too tired to wake up and pray like on as a single person and then there are other times where you need someone to say oh get up and let's pray like that person i mean it's everybody's preference in their partner but i feel that's something i'd want like a spiritual partner a spiritual push a spiritual like person to always like a like someone you shouldn't be overly spiritual but i want you to have that like to be serious on your god game to be actively a christian i don't think i'd want to marry an atheist because i'd want to get married in a church and he doesn't believe in church so what are we going to do with that so i think i would want to marry a christian i don't know maybe some some years along the line you see me marrying an atheist i don't know but then currently those are the beliefs i hold strongly so if you see me later in life don't say that i'm going against my beliefs just know i don't think i'd end up doing it i don't think i'd end up doing it because i take my christian life way too serious am i talking too soon i take my christian life way too serious to 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 end up in something with someone that is not going to be a push to me spiritually it's not going to be a partner for us to pray at dawn for our children for myself for my for our family for our businesses like it's gonna be a lot if you are the only prayerful partner in the family because i know where i'm coming from so i'd need that prayerful partner too so i think it's a no-no for me dating outside my religion but it's someone would say my mind is closed but whatever if your mind is open you can't do it it will work for you because i know friends that have parents that are different religions or believe in different things and my friends grew up good just in some aspects it affected them a lot because of not knowing which side to pick etc so there's also that think about it okay so i think this brings me to the end it ended on a very serious note that's not how i wanted to wanted it to end i wanted it to end in the very chatty and cool mood just talk to me in the comment section i might have had some views that you did not agree with tell me your mind okay tell me your mind you can't i can't do anything to you so tell me your mind but don't be rude about it don't be rude about it <laughs> i hope you enjoyed the video uh it's quite late so i should go to bed yeah i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys so much for the support and for the likes the comments the subscriptions see you guys in my next video mwah, mwah, mwah.